Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. This time, I want to take a look at changes to some old 2.0 Primal fights that were changed in patch 4.56. For reasons unbeknown to the player base, patch 4.56 got significant changes to how certain boss mechanics work on Leviathan, Titan, Ifrit, Shiva, and indeed Ramu. So let's see what these changes were. Starting with Ifrit, prior to this patch, if you did go with a group to do a pony farm for example, you would no doubt experience one of the more irritating mechanics that make Ifrit on Extreme extremely frustrating. You could just blast Ifrit with your DPS, pushing him all the way down to the last set of nails on Extreme, where if you attempted to kill him and not the nails, he would just spam Hellfire over and over and over again, being completely immune causing the fight to soft lock and eventually wipe you. Now after the patch, that's not possible. After patch 4.56, you can burn Ifrit as much as you want, but those final nails now have to be killed for the boss to become attackable again. They've made him become completely immune until the nails themselves die. Once you've killed the nails, he casts his normal weak hellfire and you kill the boss. Of course, you can still completely ignore the nails and hit for zero damage against the boss until he gets tired of you and hellfire spams you all to death as usual. But this will, for the most part, prevent the situations where people are complaining to that one black mage or summoner who just won't stop DPSing the boss or any rogue dots that have been left on there but are ticking him into the final phase. In addition to that, the patch notes did actually indicate that certain variants of Hellfire throughout the fight now hit harder, and indeed you can now apply dots and enfeeblements whilst he's actually immune at any point in the fight, even when he's doing Hellfire, not doing any damage, but allowing allowing you to get them on the boss before he becomes attackable again regardless, which is quite an interesting change. Leviathan saw a similar change. You can no longer avoid phases such as his tidal wave by just burning him with your pure DPS in that you cannot physically do damage to the boss anymore if any Gaia spooms, which are the yellow ads, are actually out. It just registers zero damage from every attack you do, and you get a horrible room full of ads, and probably a flowing river of hysteria. Why hysteria? Why? They do say the damage from Tidal Wave also got reduced though, for some reason, so that's nice. Titan's changes are probably some of the most significant. Before the patch, soloing this fight would rely on some serious skill. It wasn't completely impossible, but required a fair bit of metagaming. However, after 4.56 introduction, the issue that prevented the majority of solo attempts is now gone. I'm of course talking about granite jails. I would normally gravitate to calling them gowls, but last time I got shouted at, so jails it is. These will no longer reset the fight. So before this patch, if all players were inside a granite jail, the fight would just wipe and completely reset. But 4.56 has made it continue. Now you just have to wait for the jail to run out on its timer and explode, whilst Titan just stares at you like he's just hungry and waiting for his egg to boil. They also made it so he does no direct mechanics other than stomping whilst you're in this state. So not a lot happens and in many ways they've made this one much easier to farm. Shiva's had an invincible status applied to her on hard and extreme. When the Ice Soldier adds her out, if you do a certain amount of damage to her, basically you cannot just destroy her instantly anymore, and now you have to destroy her with AoEs instead when those adds spawn, which doesn't really slow things down at all. And finally, Ramu. Ah, Ramu, destroyer of pugs, my old dear friend with the most iconic Final Fantasy beard around. Grey Arbiters. That's the name of the ads, and when they're out, Ramu now becomes invincible after just a few hits, meaning that you can no longer skip Judgment Bolt by just burning him. But you will still have the same amount of pain in the arena if you avoid mechanics, but the patch notes again do mention that the damage from Judgment Bolt itself actually got reduced overall. And that concludes the primals that were changed so far in this patch cycle. So at this point you're wondering why these changes exist. Well, I would probably guess it has something to do with blue mages and learning the primal abilities. Being capped at level 50 if they went in with a higher level player, which is more than likely as it's much faster, the boss would probably be a lot harder to deal with without these changes. Accidentally pushing a phase is way too easy when you're a higher level player. Regardless, I doubt this is the last set of changes 
will see to old bosses, but more than anything I think this cured an issue that would probably get worse as we continue to scale our characters, it might not be an issue right now, but imagine being level 100 trying to get some ponies and one-shotting the boss into his eternal hellfire state and not being able to actually kill him. It would be quite hard to just deal a small amount of damage without pushing it too far, so in many ways I firmly believe that this is a form of future proofing for a fight that on unsynced mode, which is how everybody does old content now, is just going to get harder as we scale. Let me know what you think about these changes below and if you've experienced them in a positive or negative sense so far, and meanwhile I'll be practicing my OG jumping skills here in Gridania, and I'll see you all next time.